All right, book one, lines 497 to 503 from Ovid's Metamorphosis. We know that Apollo is madly in love with Daphne, who is not going to return the sentiment. Uh, and Apollo is the subject here. He looks at Hercopolos. At her hair. Pendere hanging from Colo, her neck. Uh, Anortus is describing the hair unadorned. And I, he says. Quid, what if they, being her hair, were combed? What if she got her hair did? Uh, Macante, the present act of participle. All right, describing Oculus. He sees her eyes, Macantes, shining or gleaming. With fire, similes, similar to the Sitter bus, to the stars. He sees Wida her oscula, her lips, which is not satis enough to have seen. Lauda, he praises her fingers and her hands. Brachia and her forearms. And her shoulders, nudos, naked. Above the media parte. Literally plus more and then ablative of comparison. More than the middle part. All right, so what he just did is, you know, he worked his way up from her fingers to her shoulders. And there's a reason that he's talking about those things because that's what he can, he can see her eyes, he can see her mouth, he can see her arms. You know, the rest of her for the most part is covered. See, if after Sini Sumerne, Ali takes a holiday, if anything, Hides. He thinks it better, meaning he's imagining it being amazing. If you scan it, that's going to be short, and so terrible short. Whatever. Anyway, that's nominative, and that's going to be Daphne. Subject change. She. She flees Okior swifter. And then another ablative of comparison.
Fan the light breeze. And neck way. Where's this stop? And she did not stop. At these words. Of the one calling. Alright, so uh, the chase is underway and she's getting her going. She wants nothing.